Thus far, over 22 million liters of oil have gushed into the Gulf of Mexico. Oil giant BP has taken different approaches to stop the spill, but they haven't been able to halt the massive month-long outpouring of heavy crude. Turns out the answer to the problem could be thousands of kilometers away in the small Alberta town of Irma, 150 kilometers southeast of Edmonton. This is not who's to blame. Now is the time that everybody's got to pool the resources and work together as a team. Wayne Bennett has spent the last 25 years cleaning up oil spills and leaks throughout Alberta, from Medicine Hat to Fort McMurray. But for five years, he's been researching a new method of wiping up oil using recycled rubber tires. To prove his point, Bennett pours used diesel engine oil into the fiber product. What comes out the bottom, miraculously, is water clean enough to drink. It's fresh water. The company, ESSI, boasts that the whole process is environmentally friendly, saying the rubber powder and fiber don't end up in a landfill. Instead, it's turned into a solid material. It's tough enough that the company has been able to sell it as a substitute for concrete. The provincial regulator, Alberta Environment, doesn't endorse products, but did say information about this creation is valuable. The Made in Alberta product seems almost too good to be true, but its makers say they hope it's the solution. They demonstrate how they would use the fiber in large booms to soak up the oil in the Gulf of Mexico. When the booms are pulled from the water, only water falls out, not oil. It will not leach. And that's most important so that you can remove it without creating another spill from the spill. Bennett traveled to the Gulf to gather information and test his product. Their photos show how the oil has already hit the Louisiana coast. This area in particular is used by shrimp farmers. It's never going to be too late because we are able to remove the oil off the shorelines using this product. Bennett and his team expect to travel back to the Gulf Coast early next week. They've already partnered with a firm in the United States, but admit there's a 60 to 85 percent chance they'll have the opportunity to pitch their cleanup approach to BP. In Irma, Kyle Bax, Chat News.